Good morning. I'm Tim Bardick and I'm here or virtually here as a member of our Sunday Services Committee at People's Church. I'd like to welcome all of you to this Zoom service of People's Church. A special welcome to anyone who happens to be visiting this morning. And we hope this service helps support you in living a better life. People's Church is a member congregation of the Unitarian Universalist Association, and we're part of a long tradition of liberal religion. Among other things, liberal religion believes that religion should be more than words. For religion to be real, it must cultivate practices that help us think, feel, and act in right relations, both with ourselves and with others. Our presenter this morning is Gwen Abney Cunningham. Gwen's lived in Kalamazoo with her husband, Tom Cunningham, for the past 32 years. And uh, Gwen and Tom just celebrated their 32nd wedding anniversary on August 5th. So congratulations to Gwen and Tom on that anniversary. Gwen and Tom's son, William, is 11 years old. Gwen is very proud to be a practicing social worker working at Interactive Michigan for 32 years as well. Lots of 32s here. She has been attending People's Church for 10 years. Gwen has been practicing mindfulness meditation for, for over 25 years. She has integrated mindfulness practice into her daily life as well as in the therapy she does with clients. Welcome, Gwen, and we look forward to your presentation a little later in the service. Uh, one thing I wanna note is um, it was in the email that was sent out about the service. Uh, as part of the, um, the uh, presentation meditation that Gwen will be leading later on, if you can get a blank piece of paper and a pen or pencil at some point uh, before Gwen's presentation, that would be good. Uh, so let, let me now turn it over uh, to Savannah for our opening song.
Now it's time to light our chalice. I invite you to light your own chalice and you can share in the chat where you're lighting it from. As I hopefully don't burn down my house. For our chalice lighting words, the following. Fire consumes and casts a bright light. May our chalice flame consume our regrets from the past. Our fears about the future. And our worries about today. May it light us a path of peace, joy, and kindness towards ourselves and towards others. So um, one of the customs at People's Church uh, is that we devote we leave some time in each service for persons to share um, joys and sorrows, joys and concerns they might have. Um, so I invite you to share those in the chat. Uh, I will put a stone in this. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a bowl of water over here. And I'll put a stone in the bowl of water, which symbolizes our interconnectedness. And if you just want me to put a stone in the um, bowl and not state the nature of the joy or sorrow, that's fine as well. Just put stone in the chat. And I will pause the recording. And uh, Zoom now has this feature where it uh, uh, will we'll announce that to everyone. So don't be, that's just normal Zoom procedure now. So I'm pausing the recording now. Sorry for that, but Zoom, uh, Zoom thinks you need to know when you're being recorded and when you're not. And I guess that makes sense. And there's no way we can turn it off. Um, it's now time, another of our customs is during the service we have an offering. Uh, People's Church depends on the uh, generous work of its members, uh, such as working on the RE um, things yesterday and many other ways. And um, we also depend uh, on monetary contributions by members. So uh, if you wish to give, um, there will be a link posted in the chat and uh, there will now be some offertory music as well that uh, will be shared by Savannah. Today's offertory is performed by Susan T. Mashiyama.
If you could join me in reading the words for giving thanks that, that are being posted in the chat. For the countless gifts we each have been given. Gifts of life, gifts of love, gifts of sustenance. We bring these small portions to share in the works of love, which none of us can accomplish alone. Good morning, everyone. It's great to see all of your beautiful faces. And um, I would like to say that um, it's interesting because I public speak uh, often and I've been uh, having lots of opportunities to practice on Zoom, but it's also, I'm noticing a little bit of nervousness because y'all are my people. And so it, uh, it, it, not that it's not important with the other people, but my people, it's more important. And so I'm just noticing um, nervousness, as well as what we're talking about today is um, uh, cultivating um, kinder attention. And so with that in my mind's eye, loving kindness, we're going to be talking a little bit more about loving kindness. Also, it starts with ourselves. So I am really practicing uh, loving kindness toward myself and, and offering myself grace. And so um, as um, Tim had mentioned, I have been practicing mindfulness meditation uh, for, for many, many years. And I uh, sit um, every morning. And also mindfulness is also about participating in life with, with awareness. So I sit and meditate um, uh, every morning, but also the goal uh, is to participate in life uh, with, our, with, atten with intention and with full attention. And so, what I want to spend a little bit of time this morning talking about, and then we're going to break up into small groups. And if you notice on the um, order of service, there's some questions. And so, um, and, I, and I don't know about you all, but uh, as of late, uh, really for <laughs> a long time, but this week uh, particularly, I've been having a lot of competing worries about a lot of different things. And, um, and I'm noticing a stance of more frustration and anger both towards some situations as well as towards some people. And so um, uh, a meditation that I often practice that I find very helpful and it was a great lead in song is what we call loving, loving kindness. And the Buddha offered us 
this marvelous meditation that fundamentally the, the goal is to fundamentally shift our disposition so that we can meet all experiences and people and including ourselves with kindness, friendliness, and benevolence. And the, the intention of this is that by practicing this exercise, that we can um, attend to our lives, to our people, to ourselves with more kindness and friendliness. So, and um, so what I'm going to be teaching you today, and some of you may already be aware of this, once again, the English practice is called loving kindness. And it starts with ourselves and it moves out to all beings. And so in this practice, what we're gonna do is, and there's different ways that you can do it, um, but it starts with identifying six beings and there's six categories of beings, which I'm gonna walk you through here in a minute. And with that, we are gonna have, have a phrase, or a set of phrases that we are going to say either inside our mind's eye, or if we're alone, we can say it out loud. And I invite you, we're going to be practicing this together, but I invite you to practice this on other times because we know that um, practice not only uh, makes perfect, but it all perfect in the Zen way, but it's also an opportunity to continue to foster that attention outward of kindness and love. And so what I, this is where the mysterious piece of paper and pen comes into play. So here's what I'd like you to do. I would like you to take your piece of paper, please. And I would like you to uh, fold it into threes, if you will. Fold it into, into threes. And then once you get that done, so if you, if you notice, I have mine. And then I'm just going to rip the lines so that then you're going to have, now you'll have three pieces of paper. Okay, now what I'm gonna ask you to do is rip those three into, in half. So you're gonna end up with six pieces of paper. All right, now this is where I'm gonna offer myself a little bit of grace because I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, are y'all seeing that? Not yet. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna invite you to do. Now take your piece of paper, and for the, the first piece of paper, I want you to write your name on it, or you can write the word me, whatever works for you, okay? And then place that to the side. Then I would like you to write um, the term, um, uh, someone, the name of someone who is a mentor or a hero to you. So go ahead and place that one on the other side there. And then I would like you to write the name of someone that you care deeply about. And it may be that lots of names come to mind. I'd like you just to write one. Now, someone more neutral. Now, um, this might be a little bit harder right now, maybe, maybe not, but someone like, you know, for me, I often go to the coffee shop and get a cup of tea. I used to do that more often. And so that might be someone that I chat up with, but I, it's, it, there, there's someone that I don't have a long standing or an in-depth relationship with. So go ahead and write, the, write that uh, person down. And now I would like you to write the name of someone you're having difficulty with. And I hope that's not many, but if it is, please just put one. <laughs> now what I would like you to do is on the last piece of paper, I would like you to write all beings. So now go ahead and um, take that piece of pile, that pile in. Um, the first person on there should be me sitting up, but right now I just want you to take that little pile and just put it beside you just for a minute, and then I'm going to give you the rest of the instructions. So what we're going to do 
as we, so I'm going to have us, I'm going to ring the bell and I'm going to, or I'm going to have us sit for a few minutes and I am going to just have us breathe and get centered. And I'll, I, and then um, what we're going to do as we turn each person's name, and then I'll ring the bell each time we're supposed to turn it and I'll give you instructions as we go. And then what we're going to do for each each category of being, starting with ourselves and ending with all beings, we're just gonna have the mantra and each person I'm gonna give us about 30 seconds and we're gonna repeat, may I be safe, may I be happy. And once again, this will be in our mind's eye or you can say it softly outside out, out loud if you'd like. Um, may I be happy, may I be at peace. We'll continue to say that until I ring the bell again. And we're going to go to the next person and then the next person. And I'll ring the bell each time. And once again, we'll have about 30 seconds for each person. And what I want you to do as, as you are doing this, if you notice that your mind starts to thought, wander or tell stories, just refocusing on the person and saying these four statements. And so the other thing that I want to say is that when we bring our full attention to the phrases themselves, there's a force of good intention that builds up gradually. So if you're not actually feeling love in your heart, it's okay. It's more about the act of mindfully and intentionally saying the phrases. And then over time, even as you're doing it, or maybe later today, or if you continue to practice, you may feel that. And it's really the intention of the aim is to, in, is to generate a strong intention of kindness. Now, I also invite you, if you'd like, um, you can envision as you're doing this, your heart opening up full of light, or if it's helpful as you're breathing, as you're saying this mantra for each person, you certainly can put your hand on your heart, whatever speaks to you, okay? So I'm going to ask everyone to get in a position that's comfortable for you, but that you're kind of, you're sitting up, your feet are planted on the ground, and as we're doing this, it's really okay if you, if you have to shift or move, but then refocusing your attention on the task in hand. All right, so what I'm going to do is ask each of us to just begin just breathing in and out. And then I have a bell that I'm going to ring. And when I ring the bell, I'm then going to ask you to start with yourself. So this one piece of paper that says me, just beginning to say them the, the same, may I be happy, may I be safe, that saying. Then when I ring the bell again, you're gonna to turn to the next piece of paper. Does that make sense to folks? I always, I think I'm sometimes clearer than I am. All right, so let's just begin by doing some breathing. Breathing in and out, noticing thoughts, bringing your attention back to your breath. If judgments come in, your thoughts about lunch or dinner, notice, bring attention back. As I ring the bell, please begin the loving kindness exercise with yourself. Moving on to a mentor or hero.
turning your attention to the third slip of paper, which is someone you care deeply about. Shifting to a neutral person. Shifting your attention to someone you're having difficulty with. Now, shifting your attention to all beings. All right. Thank you so much uh, for doing that with me. And thank you again for inviting me to be here with you all today and to present this. And so what we're going to do now is I've developed a list of questions um, that we thought could be helpful in stimulating a conversation about your experience with doing um, this exercise of loving kindness. And so what's going to happen is, um, so these questions are listed on the order of service or in the order of service and basically Tim do I do you want me to read the questions yes okay so and once again these are in the order of service uh, of course so you guys can also get them there so the first question what did you observe when practicing the loving kindness exercise if you can speak to what um, what what was the quality of your attention did your mind wander how easy was it to refocus what was it like for you as you pick the six categories of beings? Did you notice any attention or excuse me, attachment with one category versus another? And I'm wondering about, um, you guys can have a discussion um, about what are your thoughts about kindness for other, other beings, uh, for others begins with kindness towards ourselves. 
And also just curious, if you know, you guys can also talk about in your small groups, any thoughts you have about taking this practice into your um, life for the next day, the next week, et cetera. And so I'd like to invite um, you all to, uh, as you are going over these questions or that you're thinking about them, that when we get in our small groups, that each person would kind of do a round robin and each person kind of talk about their experiences, what they glean from it, and then go to the next person and the next person. So everyone has an opportunity to participate in that way of what their experience is. Of course, if, if you choose to decline, that's okay. And then with that being said, once you're done, then you guys can kind of unpack it together. And we're gonna have about 10 minutes to do that. And Chris is gonna send us into small breakout rooms. Spirit of my life, give me strength through stress and strife. Help me live with dignity. Let me know serenity. Fill me with a vision. Clear my mind of fear and confusion. When my thoughts flow restlessly. Our closing words are this. As we extinguish our chalice, may it glow gently in our hearts. May it light your path as you leave this space. May it guide your way until we are together in whatever sense that means, again. And that ends our formal service, but we have a 15-minute uh, Zoom coffee hour if you're interested. You can just stay on. If you have other things you are going to do, uh, you can just leave the meeting at this point. But if you're interested in the 15-minute coffee hour, uh, just stay on, and you'll be broken randomly into different uh, groups. Thank you. Go in peace.